Hey guys, Crypto Lazy Geek here and welcome back to the channel. I have next to me my C-Star S50 Smart Telescope from ZWO, an incredible little smart telescope. And I have set it up in equatorial mode. I have shown how to set it up in equatorial mode in a previous video. I've also explained in that video the advantages of doing so and the drawbacks as well. So if you have no idea what I'm talking about, I would strongly suggest you check out that other video. I'll put the link up above or down below. Now, in that previous video, we used a software feature that was added to the firmware of that scope a few months ago by ZW, which is called Horizon Calibration. But that feature has a drawback in that the telescope needs a fairly wide open area of the sky and it can fail easily if it ends up like trying it on clouds or something like that. This is because the telescope will basically point itself somewhere, then point in uh, another direction and then yet another direction. And each time it will analyze the stars that it sees to understand where exactly it's pointed. Based on that, it can understand what the horizon is supposed to be. And that's how we make the polar alignment work. By the way, this method was first pioneered by a guy called Kai Jung right after ZW re released that feature to their firmware. And uh, he has an incredible Facebook group called, uh, I think, ZWC star underground, something like that. I'll put the link down below where everyone does crazy experiments with their C stars. It's a bit too much for me, but it's fascinating. So if you're interested, again, link down below. But anyway, today we are not going to rely on that feature at all. We are simply going to make the C star believe that it is at the North Pole. Because yes, if you're at the North Pole, right over you is the North Celestial Pole. And it's also Polaris. So by just plopping down the smart telescope as it is supposed to be used, you are actually polar aligned. And so here I'm in Tokyo. I'm obviously not at the North Pole, but I have oriented my sea star so that the top of the sea star actually points to the celestial North Pole as if I were actually on the North Pole. Okay, so the principle is we just need to tell the sea star like, hey, you're at the North Pole, by the way. And then the sea star will be like, oh, really? Okay. <laughs> and seriously, it's just going to work like that. It's a lot of fun. So this is something that I have investigated only on Android smartphones. I don't own an iPhone. I haven't owned an iPhone for over 14 years now. So I have no idea if it's possible on iPhone. So just so you know, this is Android only. So my first instinct was I wanted to be able to set my coordinates directly in the C star app, but it seems to really want to pull them from your smartphone. So we are going to have to lie to the whole app about our location and we're going to use a fake GPS location application to do so. And so you can see I am on my, my smartphone now and I will put the link down in the description, but we're going to use an open source application called Android Mock Location. I didn't use any application from the App Store because they don't allow me to actually set my location as the North Pole. It stops always below, far below the North Pole. So I have to use this app that is open source, uh, but that needs to be installed from outside the App Store. But anyway, I went to this website here and I'm using the very first package at the top. Uh, so the one for that's roughly 279 kilobytes here. And you can just tap on it to download it. Once you've downloaded the program, you want to uh, use a file explorer like I have here. So I used an app called File Manager, Manager Plus, which is free and is on the App Store. And go to your downloads folder and you will see the app is available as Mock My JPS there. Now, when you tap on this, it will ask you whether you want to allow installing an app from unknown source, and it will ask you to change the settings on your smartphone. Just follow the instructions and do that if you're asked this. Otherwise, it will just ask you to install the app. Or for me, because the app is already installed, it will ask me whether I want to update. But the thing is, my app is already up to date, so I can just ignore that. But basically, once you've done that, you have installed the app. Now, the next step is you want to enable an Android developer options. To do so, you want to go to the settings first. So I'm in my settings and I'm simply going to the bottom to go to about phone. And then I want to go to the bottom and you see there is build number there. What you want to do is to tap on build number seven times in a row. And for me, if I tap it, you can see no need. You are already a developer for you. After seven times, it will tell you you are now a developer or something like that. So you tap on this build number until it gives you this message. 
Once that's done, you will have access to developer options under system. And you can see I have developer options. And in there, I can scroll to the very bottom to find something called select mock location app. I can tap on that and we can select the app that we just installed together. Now we are ready to lie to all of the applications on my smartphone, including the C star application. So my next step is I'm going to find my mock my location app and tap on it. And in there I have fixed position and you can see I have set myself to almost 90 degrees north, which would be exactly the North Pole. Uh, in my case, I mean, I think it would work as well, but I set up to slightly below because the North Pole is a bit of a weird uh, place in terms of coordinates. So I've set up to like 89.9 roughly north and then the second number really doesn't matter. But basically this is enough to basically tell the, the, the phone that we are at the North Pole. I am just going to tap on Start. When you click on Start, every app on your Android smartphone, including Google Maps, now believes you are at the North Pole. Uh, it also like triggers this little floating thing there. You can just move it away when you don't when it's covering something you don't need. Uh, it's a feature we don't need, but it's there, so we have to ignore it. Okay, but now I can actually connect to my C star and open the C star app. And you can see that I'm now in the app. And what is very interesting is what we see here with the locations. We are indeed at the North Pole. That's awesome. The C star believes us. It believes it is at the North Pole. It is pretty cold after all. One thing that's very important, you want to tap on your C star icon, go to advanced features, and you want to make sure that you have skip horizontal calibration set to yes. So I want to have it read there. It needs to be enabled. We do not want to have horizontal calibration enabled. We skip it completely. But this means that this workaround actually worked even before horizon calibration was available. And now we just want to make sure, as I showed in the previous video, that our telescope is indeed pointing properly towards the North Celestial Pole. Or if you're using the South Pole with coordinates minus 89.9 towards the South Celestial Pole. So this is already as I've shown in the previous video. And then we can go into stargazing. And it will tell me like, oh, you need to adjust to a C star level, which, you know, it's a, it's a good remark, but we actually don't need to do so uh, because it is intentional. So you tap on skip. And now we entered the uh, stargazing mode without issue. And I can open up the star atlas. And you can see in the star atlas, it believes because the C star is pointing tr straight towards the south celestial pole, it believes we are indeed pointed at the south celestial pole. And if I go above the horizon, I, I look in my map at the zenith, you can see that right next to the zenith, we have Polaris because the sea star indeed believes we are at the North Pole. So that's amazing. Okay, now that we've seen that the zenith is properly there, what I'm gonna do is go around like uh, 70 degrees. That seems to be working well for me. So you can see I have the red square there next to the 70 degrees circular line. And what I'm going to do is just tap on go to. And when I tap on go to, there are two scenarios. Scenario one, best case scenario, the C star points to a place where it can see something. And then we are golden. Second scenario, the C star points to somewhere that it cannot see anything. And this is where we would need to actually change the location that we want the C star to go to gradually until we see it points to a section of the sky that it can see stars from. So anyway, let's uh, say that, okay, here is fine. So I'm going to tap here and tap on go to and see what's happening. So I can see that the C star will actually point directly towards my wall there, maybe a bit higher, uh, but it's not going to be ideal. So I'm just going to stop it and basically use the sky atlas to go to a completely different direction. Something like this, almost opposite, and then click go to again. And now it's likely going to expose and to point the C star to a place in the sky that is actually open sky where it can find stars and analyze them. So let me quickly turn off the light. And it wasn't quite enough, so I have, I'm moving it even a bit more. So it rotates a bit more in this direction. 
Okay, so now let's look at the uh, stars. And yes, it does seem to be able to see some stars. And now it's starting moving again. So what that means is that it has actually identified the place that it pointed at. So I can cancel the movement because now the C star is actually aligned. We may not realize it, but it is aligned. So now if I go anywhere, if I want to point it anywhere, I go back to my sky atlas and I could say, for example, boat for the, the boat galaxy. So let's uh, put boat in there. There it is, M81. And I'm going to click on gazing. And actually super close to where we were. That's a, a complete coincidence, but super close to where we were. Object is centered. And there we are. We have centered the object. You can see the very faint fuzzy at the middle of the frame here is actually the galaxy, Bode Galaxy M81. And so we have the sea star in equatorial mode without needing the horizon calibration. That said, we need to use the sky atlas kind of manually until we're able to point the sea star at a place in the sky where it can actually identify where it's pointing at. Once it's done, it is aligned. It knows where things are and it does believe it's at the North Pole, which I think it's like, it's a super cool thing. Now, there's some more there uh, to, to note is that now, by the way, we can just go back to the uh, mock GPS application and just stop it. And then I'm just going to close the C Star app. And anytime you wish to actually use the C Star app, you do not need to mock your location again. If you disable location services on your phone settings before doing so. So now I have turned off the location settings, but when I open up the C Star app, you see, it still has the old coordinates. It remembers where it last was. So it still thinks that it's at the North Pole. So there you have it, a really complex method of achieving the same result as before. And this is actually the method that I started with because it made the most sense. What if we just tell it it's at the North Pole? And we can, and it works. But the biggest difficulty of this is to actually use the Sky Atlas to point the sea star to the right place in the sky where it can actually identify stars. So that's, that makes it, I think, more complex than the horizon calibration method. But it is a workaround if horizon calibration does not work well for you. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this uh, little crazy video. And if you liked what you see, you may want to subscribe, click the like button, leave a comment, tell us what you think about this horrible technique. And if you're feeling particularly generous, you may want to join my Patreon as a member or join my channel as a member. It truly helps the channel out and this channel would not exist without you. So thank you so much. But more important than all of that, don't forget whenever you can to look up at the stars and I'll see you next time.